So here's an update. Today I start my Provera. He was waiting to let me start it after he got my quantitative HCG beta back, which was uh, just a blood test showing that I was not pregnant because he said, you know, it would kind of defeats the purpose if you are. Um, so we got that back and so he told me that I can start it today. So I just took my first pill. It's five pills for five days. Um, once I finish, it should start my period. And this will be the first period I've had in four months, so I'm assuming it's probably going to be a very bad one. Um, my body's going to be paying me back for not having one for such a long time. Um, but what I'm super stoked about is just to be able to start. I mean, I never thought I would say that because I always hated my period, especially when you're not trying to conceive your period's your worst person ever. Um, and I guess it is, too, when you're trying to conceive but I never wanted my period, but now I'm just like, please start. I mean, it's been so long and we've been at a standstill for four months to not even be able to try to conceive on our own, um, whether it be without help from a doctor or just by ourselves. I mean, we haven't been able to do anything. So I'm super excited for this start. Um, once I finish it, hopefully I'll start right off the bat and then I can make my appointment to get the uh, di dye test done on my fallopian tubes. And then uh, if that comes back clear, then we get to start on the Clomid. So, I mean, we're right there. And it feels like it was a never-ending battle ever since I started this, not even the trying to conceive journey, but just trusting my gut, knowing something was wrong with my body. Um, from the doctor that told me there's absolutely no way that I had PCOS because I had periods every month to a doctor that said, you know, we're not going to draw any blood work on you because you haven't been trying to conceive for a year. So you're not considered infertile or that you're having any fertility issues to the third doctor that said, you know, he drew all the right blood work and then misdiagnosed me and said, there's absolutely no way you have PCOS. Your blood work came back fine. Only reason why you have a high testosterone is because you're overweight and you need to lose weight. Um, to finally finding a doctor that really cares and really knows what he's doing. So now I feel so much more relief than I felt in months. And so I just cannot wait to get this process started. So there you go.